Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about how to back up your Minecraft world, your Minecraft folder, everything about Minecraft. I'm also going to be mentioning backing up Minecraft servers in this video. So it's going to be basically all of your Minecraft backup needs linked together, put together in one kind of basically video, right? That's the goal. Um, we're going to be talking about backing up and everything you need to know about backing up. Now, one of the things I will say about backing up Minecraft servers is that while this method, we're going to show you how to do that in this video, the easiest way to back up Minecraft servers is to purchase a server through someone like Apex Minecraft Hosting, and luckily, Apex is willing to sponsor this video. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your own Minecraft server that is automatically backed up every single day. Apex every day backs up your server, so you never have to worry about losing data. They do it all for you. You can manage your backups yourself all in their control panel, and overall, we love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them, and trust their backup system to keep our public server up and running and it's basically ready to go if we do need a backup we have it there and they make it very very easy to manage see and basically use if we want to so we're need to i suppose so that is the easiest way to back a Minecraft server is to host it on Apex or a similar hosting provider. And guess what? At Apex, you get other benefits too, like better security, the ability to host a public server or a private server, whichever you want, and just overall more flexibility. You don't have to worry about managing your server. Apex takes care of a lot of it already. So nevertheless, if you want the easiest way to back a Minecraft server, as well as many, many other benefits of hosting a server with Apex, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. If, however, you are hosting your server locally, the process is going to be a bit different than with Apex. However, this system right here that is on the page. We're going to come back to it, but it's called Backblaze and it allows you to automatically back up your entire computer once per day for just $6 per month. Um, this is an affiliate link in the description down below. We're going to show you how to do everything before we show you how to use Backblaze, but overall this is a great setup because not only is it backing up your Minecraft files and all that, it's also backing up other files on your computer as well, meaning you never have to worry about it. If your data does like get lost, your hard drive for whatever reason stops working, it's all backed up. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and show you how to back things up locally on your computer and basically how to kind of create some redundancy even if you don't want to use Backblaze. I'm going to close out of that. We'll come back to it later. So first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and back up Minecraft, our .minecraft folder. And the first part of doing that is getting to your .minecraft folder. So the little one is like on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little one is like on the top bottom left of your screen. Open up this and then type in run. You have this run app here. Open up that and in this run app, you want to type in that right there. Percent sign, app data, percent sign. So percent, app data, percent, and and hit enter. That's then going to go ahead and open up our roaming folder here. Or up here at the top, we do have .minecraft. This is all of your Minecraft files. It's your Minecraft world, your shaders packs, your resource packs, your mods, anything involving the default Minecraft launcher is in this folder right here. So to back up Minecraft, what you want to do is go ahead and copy it, right? Just right like so, and then paste it. Now, when you paste it in here, it's going to be a while before it gets everything worked out. And be warned, this is going to double the size that Minecraft takes up on your computer when you do this. So this does back it up, but it is going to take extra space in your computer and it's not what we call an off-site backup meaning this redundancy that you've just created is just there if you want to go change like mods or do something different in minecraft right that's what's going to happen it's not going to be anything like the ability for your computer to break, right? Your computer, your hard drive stops working. This isn't going to protect your Minecraft files. The only way to do that is to create what we call an offsite backup. Now, there's a few ways to do this. The most popular I recommend is Backblaze, but if you don't want to do that, you could periodically, let's say every 20 days, every day, every 10 days, you decide how frequently you want to do that. You would take this folder and upload it to somewhere like Google Drive, Dropbox, or another service. So basically what you would do is you would come to this roaming folder again, and instead of copying and pasting it basically in the roaming folder here, you would copy and paste it to your desktop. Then you would go to a service like Dropbox, right? And then just drag and drop that folder into your Dropbox, basically, account, right? It's going to take a while to upload. It's going to be a very manual process, and it's overall not something I'd recommend doing, but that is how you can do an off-site backup. Again, it's not going to be up to date, right? If you do that backup, as soon as you go play Minecraft, that backup is outdated. But it still will allow you to have something to go back to if you should have an issue. This is something I used to do for years, and honestly, it worked decently well. That is until I forgot to do it for a while, and then I lost the world, and I had to go back a long ways in that world. It actually ended a series on my channel way back in the day because I lost the world, and my old backup, well, I'm back up in about a month, which is a lot of time back when I was doing videos of uh, Let's Plays every single day. Anyway, a lot of time was lost, and it ended the Let's Play. This is very, very sad. But nevertheless, that is something that you can do. Again, we are just kind of sitting here waiting, though, for this to finish. It says about 16 minutes there. I don't doubt it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording, give my hard drive a rest, because now it's trying to copy this and 
record the video file. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a jump cut until this is finished or almost finished. All right, so after a bit of time there, we do have the dot Minecraft dash copy. This did pull to the bottom of our folder here, but if we sort by name again, we will see it pops up to the top directly under Minecraft. Now, again, this is immediately outdated, right? As soon as I go play Minecraft again, this is outdated. It's no longer updated, but it is a snapshot. If you're installing mods, doing a lot of changes in your world or doing something that may be an issue, right? Then you want to come here and make sure you do this because that means you're going to be able to go back. If you want to restore this, all you would do is rename your .minecraft folder to .minecraft dash, you know, like broken or whatever you want to do. Basically put anything you want here. I like to do dates. So for me, it would be 07. 01 2021 and then we would just take this dot minecraft folder and basically make that our active one right so we would take that and make that dot minecraft and there you go so the backup is now dot minecraft and the original is now dot minecraft dash 07 01 2021 right so that's how that would work there and it's actually not the first it's the third but anyway beside the point there is now a basically original minecraft folder and that's the backup being the backup now is the basically active one that make any sense i hope so but again this is outdate right away now if you did want to put this on like a Dropbox or something like that, you would simply go to, you know, your browser, go to your Dropbox and then drag and drop it into Dropbox or upload it to Dropbox, upload the folder. And that's going to take a while. It's going to take a very, very long time. And it's going to be something where Dropbox have issues because it's through your browser and all of that, but it is an option. Let's however, go ahead and close out of all of this. And then we're going to go ahead and look at Minecraft servers. So here we have a paper server. The process is the same for vanilla, but as you guessed to back up your server, you're just going to copy and paste it right here on your desktop. Boom, right like that. We now have the copy and the original. You just kind of put the copy over to the side, whatever you wanted to do and not mess with it. But as soon as you play on your server, that copy is outdated, right? So that is something to keep in mind. But if you're updating your server, doing issues or, you know, troubleshooting things, changes like that, it's always good to take a quick snapshot backup. And there we go. We do have a backup now. And if we do have issues, we can just delete this one and make this folder that was our copy, our now new original, and just keep playing on 1.17 without any issues. Let's say we were updating to 1.18. So there you go. That is how you can back up your server. It's as simple as copy and paste it right like so. And your server is backed up. Now, this is a very, very small server kind of by design. If your server has been played on everything like that, it's going to take a lot longer than it did for me to do that copy and paste there. You could also upload this to Dropbox. That's going to be that offsite backup. So where if your hard drive fails or something like that, you're going to have an offsite backup. But again, you're going to need to do that periodically every you know day, every seven days, whatever you decide your timeline is to make sure you keep it up to date. And it is easy to forget that because like I said, I have done it in the past. Now, the best way to do backups, in my opinion, as I stated, was Backblaze. Backblaze is what I use. It's what I love. And overall, it's the best and easiest way to back up. Now, one thing to mention is this is only going to back things up once per day. So you could lose a day maximum of files, but usually it's less than that even because of how the backup system works, right? It's backing up your entire computer. And if you do have a hard drive failure, like a system hard drive failure, Backblaze is there to help you. It's very easy to download it and all of that stuff. So let's go ahead. I'm going to actually log out of my Backblaze account, which is not something I'm, I'm too excited about, but I'm going to completely undo my Backblaze setup. Then I'm going to show you all how you can set it up for yourself. So let me go ahead, do all of this, and I'll meet you on the Backblaze website. Link in the description down below. And again, that is affiliate link where you can purchase Backblaze through us, and it will cost you absolutely nothing extra, but it will help support what we do here on the channel. Thanks for doing that in advance. So here we are on Backblaze's website. When you go to the second link in the description down below, it's going to take you here. One of the cool things about Backblaze is it does have a free trial, so we can go ahead, install it, see if you like it, see if it's backing up how you want it to back it up, and then you can decide whether you want to pay the six dollars per month to keep things backed up now one thing i will say six dollars a month is a steal of a deal for something that is going to give you so much peace of mind i used to always worry about xyz hard drive failure xyz thing happening to my computer and me losing all my files i never have to worry about that so if that's a worry you have in your head you can fix it for six bucks a month and for me that was well worth it uh, there are other ways you know for example you could do dropbox backups they have those but usually dropbox ends up running much more than six dollars per month with all your files you can back up any hard drives connected to your computer that aren't NAS hard drive. So they have to be like plugged in via USB, for example, and or via, you know, like, you know, internally in this system. And then you can back them all up. So for example, I have an SSD, I have a primary, you know, HDD, and then I have an external hard drive as well that is just like plugged in via USB. And all of those are backed up automatically with Backblaze. So you can do that as well. So nevertheless, once you're on this page, you're going to go ahead and click try it free. And it's going to kind of walk you through the sign up process. Now, one thing I already have an account, I'm going to go through this, but later in this video, I am going to switch to my main account to kind of show you this. So we're going to go ahead and just enter in some information here. You know, all the silly, don't need my username and password. So I'll show you what happens whenever we click the sign up now button. 
So once you do hit sign up, it's going to take you here to the Windows Chrome install. It's going to show you basically how to kind of install this. We're also going to be showing you this in the video as well. So yeah, as you can see, once Backblaze is finished downloading, right click on install in the bottom left here. So as you can see, we do have this and you can show in a folder. When you do that, it's going to open up the folder that Backblaze is in. So right here it is. For me, it's on my desktop. For you, it might be your downloads folder, whatever. It's going to open it up and you're going to have a folder like this. Right click on it and then run it as an administrator. You may have to enter in like, you know, username, password, things like that. That's perfectly normal, right? Perfectly normal. It is going to automatically detect your account here, most likely. If it doesn't, no worries. Enter in your email or information and then go ahead and click install now. It's now going to go ahead and install everything that it needs to install with basically backblaze, right? It's going to take a few minutes as it says, because it's kind of searching your computer and seeing the hard drives it's going to need to back up, kind of looking at the, you know, different data that's on them. Not in a bad way. They don't care what's on your data. It's actually all randomized in such a way that I don't think they can even look at it. But it is one of those things where it, you know, is backing up your system and kind of looking at what it's going to need to back up. It does say the back first backup could take a few days or even weeks. That's true. It's backing up everything on your computer. It's going to take a while, so be prepared for that. But overall, we're going to go a quick jump cut until this is finished. Uh, and you can read these little tidbits as it is installing on your own computer. All right, so here we go. The installation is complete. And as you can see, Backblaze is found and will back up tons of documents, tons of basically gigabytes. And movies is uh, video files. And it's not movies for me. It is uh, the videos you're watching right now. So if you ever wonder how much... Uh, data that takes up. There you go. So anyway, it's all listed here. You can click OK. And now it's going to go ahead and start backing it up. This is going to take a while, but I would recommend it finishing and it just you kind of letting it sit and do it because once it's finished, it's done. And backing up every day after that makes it a lot easier and a lot simpler to do. One thing that's great about Backblaze, you'll notice through this entire process, we didn't have to enter in any credit card information or anything like that. Payment information isn't asked for unless you click the buy button down here and decide to purchase, right? That's the biggest thing. And one of the things I like about Backblaze, very low pressure, right? After 15 days, your backups will stop. But if you want to buy and keep them going, you can do so. And if you click buy, it will take you to basically a sign in link like right. So boom, go ahead and enter in this link here. It will take you to a sign up link like this where you can log into your account and complete the purchase process. Let's go ahead and actually do that real fast. So there we go. As you can see, we have now logged in. Now the 30 day version history, this basically means it will keep files for 30 days. And if you change a file, it will keep the file previous version for 30 days. So let's say you have a text document. That text document, as long as it's never changed, will just constantly be available for backup. If you change it, let's say you go in, you know, you add a little bit more to the end of it. You save that text document. The original version of that file before it was changed will be kept for 30 days. The new file will then be kept after that and it will stay in your backup again until you change it. Then when you change it, the old file will be kept for an additional 30 days with the new one being kept forever. That's kind of how that works. As you can see here, you can get more backup time if you want for additional. Now, forever is kind of crazy because you do have to pay for, you know, the amount of space you're taking up. Be warned of that, but $2 a month for an additional year is very, very affordable. As far as upgrading to actually, you know, continuing your backup after the 15 day trial, you just click buy here and it will take you to the purchase process. Now you can pay $60 a year, which I, what I do, I pay for pretty much everything yearly or 110 for two years to save even more money, which is absolutely great. But just go ahead, select your plan here and check out. So there you have it. That is how you can get Backblaze up and running on your computer to do backups. I love it. And if we go ahead and minimize here, it's automatically working. We can click on settings. Now this can save you some time. Let's say there's a part of your computer you don't want to back up. Now for this specific video, we want to back everything up because we want to make sure Minecraft's backed up by the way. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But you can come to exclusions here and you can exclude different folders, files, different things like that, that you might not need because, uh, yeah, you just don't need them. Now, automatically, some things are disabled. For example, program files, you might want to remove that and actually allow program files to be backed up. That's going to be your own personal choice. So look through these, see what you want backed up. For example, your recycling bin, that is something that I do want backed up, right? We would like our, our you know, recycling files backed up. That way we have those backed up, right? Because yeah, that's kind of that. So you go through and delete all of those and then you'll be good to go. You'll now have your recycling bin backed up should you have kind of an issue. So there you have it. That's how you can set all that up. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it did help you out. And uh, some people might say, this was just all ads, but I wanted to show you all how you could back up Minecraft first. And then I want to show you how you can do it automatically because this just removes so much stress from my life. I only share products on this channel that we actually use. And I use this, you'll see it. If any other video since I think November of 2020, maybe even before then, 
any video, if you see me click this up here, you will see backlights up there because I use it. I use this product. We love this product. It's actually running in our, every computer in our office has this because it's that powerful and it's going to protect you if you have any file issues. So anyway, I did want to do a video on it. Very passionate about the product. Like I said, luckily they were willing to offer us an affiliate partnership. So if you do purchase the description down below, we do get a little bit of kickback at no additional cost to you, which is absolutely great. But there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. We just applied that. So it's having to recalculate all of our, our backup times. It, it's not going to crash. It's just, it's going to take it a minute because it was not expecting that. But anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.